Geeks, what is up? Uh, Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and coming at you with something a little different today. As many of you know, most of you probably know, today is Father's Day, and I wanted to do a little uh, something special uh, for this day. Uh, and it kind of snuck up on me, so hopefully I can manage to edit together a nice looking video and it's not too boring uh, for you guys. So, I wanted to talk about my dad. Um, Growing up, he was always kind of a big kid. We'd go to uh, arcades, and anytime my brother and I were into some kind of game, my dad would play along or watch. Um, but uh, as my closest friends know, in recent years, we have fallen out of touch. I actually have not talked to my dad in years now. Um, and I won't get into all the details, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know... Uh, you know, it's been a long time. Been a long time we've not been talking. Um, I, there, nothing about my dad that is malicious. He would couldn't harm a fly. But at times, he not had his priorities right and uh, never been a good communicator. And because of that, when I stopped talking to him, we just kind of stopped talking. Um, but when... It comes to family, it is always important. Now it's hard to do, but it's always important to try your best to forget the bad. And the easiest way to do that is to think about the good. Remember the things that you love about them. And the reason that I am doing this and that I didn't do something like this for Mother's Day is that I am a gamer because of my dad. Uh, in the early years of my life, he bought every system in every game I played and I fell in love with them because of him and it wasn't just because video games are great but um, my mom and my sister were never too into them but my brother and I anytime we would play my dad would be there he'd be playing right along or um, or or just watching it but always be interested so for us as much as we love the games it was time to spend kind of one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one, I guess there were two of us um, and I've been thinking back, and I think, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be a gamer. And if I wasn't a gamer, I wouldn't have this channel. So going back, this channel, really, it all comes down to what my dad did for me. And when I think about that, that's what I mean. I'm thinking about the good, and when I think about the impact that that has had on my life, I can kind of forget some of the stuff that I was pissed off about before. Um, so let me, let's get into it. Uh, the very first one, I think the year was 1990, might have been late 89, but felt like spring in my mind. Uh, now I was five, maybe, something like that. And um, my dad came home with a big box. Remember the price tag was over a hundred bucks, which was a pretty hefty amount of money back then, which is crazy to say I'm not that old, but money was, it has different weights. It just, a hundred bucks went a lot further back then. Uh, and I remember him coming home with a box uh, and inside the box was another gray box, a cartridge, and a bright orange gun with a lens at the end of it. And it was the original Nintendo Entertainment System. We would play Mario, played a little Duck Hunt, uh, but the ones that really we bonded over, my dad, my brother, and I was Legend of Zelda. Played that so much. It also helped foster my burgeoning love for the Ninja Turtles. We played that TMNT arcade one. Uh, sort of a side-scroller. Uh, you can play as each of the four turtles. It starts in a burning uh, hotel or apartment building and you get to save uh, April O'Neil from a fire and a bunch of Foot Clan. That one. We played the crap out of that too. But thinking back, Zelda was really, really the one that I think about. But as time went on, that faded by kind of 92, 93. Nobody was really thinking about uh, the NES anymore. And that is when we got our first PC. Um, we got on it, I remember playing SimCity. We played the crap out of Lemmings, uh, Red Baron, so much Red Baron. But the one that, the one that I think, the game I think about when I think about that first computer, is Doom. Uh, Might have been Doom 2. Uh, I'm not, I'm not good with my history. I should have done some research before we got here. But my mom was not cool with that game. Too gory, too violent. It's not to be on the computer. It was uninstalled, or maybe you just deleted things back then. I don't even know if things got uninstalled. But then, one Saturday morning, my dad reinstalled it um, secretly. And we kept it a secret for a very long time. Because uh, on the weekdays, uh, my dad would be off to work really early. He's a landscaper, so he'd be out the door 
before we even woke up. Um, my mom was always up early, get us ready for school and stuff. So when the weekends rolled around, we'd let mom sleep in. Dad's going to be up early anyway. So when he would get up early, my brother and I would get up at like 5.30, 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and we'd start playing Doom. And we'd squeeze in as much of it as we could until my dad goes, all right, I'm bringing, mom your bake- or bringing your mom or bacon sandwich or whatever for breakfast. And then my brother and I would go, okay. Let's go put some Sim City on. Uh, and I remember that. It was this thing. It was just like it made it, you know, it wasn't wasn't forbidden, but it made it so much more exciting to play a game you weren't allowed to play when you only had, you know, two hours, you know, potentially every week to get into it. Um, maybe even less. Maybe, we, you know, because back then people just didn't play as much as they play now. It could have only been like half an hour each week. We were squeezing in before my mom got up. Um so that was that first PC, and then the next one, again, a few years passed. I think it was 1996, summer of 96, might have been summer of 97. Um, my best friend came over one weekend, and he came over with his new console. It was an N64. Um, we played so like played so much of it that weekend. Remember Wave Race? I were a bunch of games, and then the next weekend, my dad was like, "We have to have, we have to have one." He'd been out of touch. He'd been missing gaming with me and my brother, and when we got that game we all played together. Uh, we played a lot of Mario Kart, a lot of GoldenEye and Star Fox and the other classics you would expect, but the one that I really remember is Mario 64. I remember this ambient atmospheric music, three dimensions, you know, the noise that, like that, woohoo! You, the noises weren't like that before. I don't even know if I had a system, you know, ca- ever captured me the way that the N64 captured me, and it was with the very first game it was with. Uh, Mario and we played that that one weekend and then when we got the system the three of us actually maybe even the whole family played through that game together Um, we get to uh, a few more years down the line and N64 starts to fade we're still playing it but we're not playing it you know feverishly like we were before Uh, and we get right around the same time we get the internet I think 98 something like that we got another computer, a brand new PC, uh, and I remember that one, uh, it had some more power. I remember playing The Sims, I remember playing so much Warcraft 2, like a, a disgusting amount of Warcraft 2. The whole family, me, my brother, and my dad, but at this point we all started playing separately because we each had our own campaigns going. Uh, and then the last game I remember that thing barely managing was the first roller coaster tycoon game. and. Um, it barely, barely kept up with the roller coaster tycoon at that day. Uh, and then, um, and then uh, when I first left for university, uh, my parents split up, and we hadn't had a new gaming system, a new PC in ages. And I'd only been able to afford a cheap one to buy when I went to university, so I wasn't playing games at all. My parents split up, and when I came back home that Christmas, my dad was moved into a new place. Uh, he had bought an Xbox, and I'd, I'd never played Xbox up till that point. So, he got the Xbox, my brother and I played Star Wars Battlefront uh, 2, I guess it was, until our eyes bled, uh, played the crap out of it, and then uh, when my brother and I were so inspired to go get our own systems, my dad's Xbox broke. So we went, screw it, we'll leave Xbox behind, and we both jumped to PlayStation, and that last system my dad bought, uh, I'm not sure if, if that Xbox had never showed up, I'm not sure I would have become a gamer, because I was... It was a little bit here, a little bit there before. Uh, I, you know, I just was never mad about it. Uh, and then, after the Xbox, my brother and I both went out and got PS2s. I played Guitar Hero, Tony Hawk, a thousand games. Uh, then I got a PS3, uh, played uh, Mirror's Edge, Skyrim, the Fallout games. I got a PS4. I actually haven't touched that that much because I went, shortly after getting that, that PS4, I went and built this computer, the one I'll edit this video on. And I built it to start the YouTube channel. And for me, there's a clear path from my dad buying that NES through all the systems he bought to the ones I bought and the one that I have now, the one that powers this this uh, young, t- small YouTube channel. So with Father's Day rolling around, guys, I think people don't look at gaming as a legitimate hobby or passion yet like they do. If you have a friend who's a movie buff, people go, oh cool, you know everything about movies, that's great. It's not like that with games. If you're really into games, we're still considered a bit of, it's sort of a subculture, Um, and, but it's an amazing one. And with time, with people like us, it's going to 
get accepted the way movies are accepted as an art form and something that's worth putting your time and passion into and it has given you so many and so many hours of enjoyment. For some of you, the word gamer defines who you are. And I don't know if it's the same for you, but when I think back to who made me a gamer, I'm thinking about my dad. Um, we haven't talked in ages, so with this video, as soon as I finish editing and uploading it, I'm going to write him a quick email and reach out. It has been maybe five years. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, but Father's Day this year and thinking about video games has brought me around. And I've started to think about, start, started to think about the good that, uh, that my dad brought. And honestly, without him, this channel wouldn't be here. So guys, celebrate your dads. I'm going to celebrate mine for the first time in a half a decade on Father's Day. And um, thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you guys could hit me up in the comments. Let me know who got you into gaming, the systems that made you fall in love with it. Um, that's it for now, geeks. Thank you, and I will see you again in the next video.